Okay, ladies and gents, Master in Six Series and talking about TV or television programs. So here we go for number one. Me, I'm a fan of Match of the Day. So moi, now, so I'm a fan of, you literally go, I am fan of, so you go, je suis fan de, and then Match of the Day. Okay, a, and I love, now j'adore is I love, I adore, j'adore. And then this program, okay, is going to be set. So you got set emission, mesdames, monsieur. Okay, so set emission. Now be careful here. All right. Okay, to spell set correctly. So you got set, and then you got emission like that. So let's just put that in there. Okay, there we have it. So this emission, we omit the program. Set emission. A. As a result, so comme résultat, so comme résultat, okay, mesdames, messieurs, so you put that there, comme résultat means as a result. Let's just put that into big letters here. So you got résultat, I suppose you could have also said comme conséquence, as a result, okay. Um, I watch it, now referring back to the fact that it's feminine, cette émission is, is, is feminine. Okay, um, so it's a la word. So when you say I watch it, you go je la regarde as opposed to je le regarde. You could have also said je, je regarde ça, okay, if you're not sure on the gender or anything like that. So je and then la and then regarde, I watch it, okay, and then uh, every Saturday. So you got tous les samedis, you got tous les dimanches, etc. Okay, so you need tous les samedis, mesdames, messieurs. So let's put that into big letters as well. So you got tous les samedis, all the Saturdays, literally. So tous les, <coughs> pardon me, un samedi comme ça. Moi, je suis, uh, je suis fan de Match of the Day et j'adore cette émission. Et quand réseautage, je le regarde tous les samedis. I watch it every uh, Saturday. Have a good look at that one. Number two, um, I never miss it. So you got your rati, which is used uh, in terms of missing it. Okay, another way, word is uh, monkey. So I never miss it. Okay, we've got je ne le uh, manque jamais. Let's have a quick look down here. Okay, so je ne le manque jamais, c'est ça. So let's put it in all its uh, fantastic, fantastic glory. Je ne le manque jamais comme ça. So ne jamais means never. Let's put the negation, the negative that is, into red just to sort of uh, make it stand out. Je ne le manque jamais. I never ma miss it. Again, okay, manquer to miss. So let's just put this down here. So je, okay, and then ne le manque, and then jamais is this here. All right, so, je ne le manque jamais, obviously it's referring to something which is masculine, so it's not set emission this time. Okay, because, pasca or car, car, now I really like, or I like a lot, in other words, j'aime beaucoup. Okay, so we can use that one, j'aime beaucoup. So j'aime, okay, and really here, beaucoup. I suppose you could have used uh, j'aime bien, as, a, as opposed to uh, beaucoup. So you could have used uh, bien instead, uh, like uh, that, ladies and gents. Okay, now, um, now, documentaries, les documentaires, documentaires, okay, so les documentaires is uh, documentaries, j'aime beaucoup les uh, documentaires, due to the fact that, now, due to or because of, set phrases à cause de, so à cause de, means due to or because of, yeah? Um, so, due to the fact will be à cause du fait. So let's put this down here. So you got à, and then you got cause du, of the fact, F-A-I-T. And then que, meaning that. À cause du fait que. Let's just put it uh, uh, up here as well, because it's quite a interesting, useful structure there. À cause du fait que. Now, I find them, je les trouve, I them find, literally. Okay, so je, and then les, 
and then Trouve. So Jules et Trouve, now a uh, hugely interesting, ladies and gents, okay, is uh, hyper intéressant. So hyper intéressant, uh, okay, I uh, mustn't forget the accent. Okay, there we have it. Okay, so hyper intéressant, c'est comme ça, mesdames et messieurs. Um, now, I'll just make sure I've got everything there. And of course, it's got to refer back to them, so it needs an S. Okay, so down here, let's have uh, just this bit. Going into three lines here, that's not too good. So, hyper, okay. Um, and then, uh, why well, I've got the G there, I don't know. And, uh, raison, mesdames, messieurs, comme ça. So, have a good look at uh, number two there, guys. Okay, je ne, je ne le manque jamais. I never miss it, okay? I cause the fait due to the fact that. Right, I would say that. So, I would say that as well. So, je dirais que. So, conditional. Useful thing in terms of opinions. And, uh, yeah, we've got the problem that I had yesterday again. So, I would say. So, je dirais. Replaces those two. Je, je dirais que. Now, I've always liked it. Um, but when I was little, okay, it sounds a little bit stilted in English actually, looking at it again. Um, so, now, I always liked it, okay, um, I just want to, since always, it's a, this is really different in the French here. Je l'adore, let's just break it up, let's, let's analyse it first of all. So, je l'adore depuis toujours. Now, notice... We're in the present tense in French. I love it, okay? Since always. I've always liked it. I've always loved it. Probably loved is a better word there, actually. I, I don't know why I've got liked, but uh, let's put it in up there. So, I've always loved it. So, literally, I love it since always. Beautiful phrase, I reckon, personally. So, you've got je l'adore. So, depuis since toujours okay using the present tense to express something that is in the past tense here in english rather but when i was little i didn't understand everything okay it should really be a comma there because it's almost it's a separate clause there so but when me quand okay so let's get that in there so you got me and then you got quand comme ça mesdames et when i was now i was Okay, jeté. So jeté meaning I was. Okay, so let's just get that away. I'm going to put it up here as well because it's such a a, a crucial sort of uh, phrase to learn, really. Mais quand jeté. Now, when I was little, so petit. So okay, uh, let's keep it masculine for this particular phrase. So petit without an e. Petite female, you'd uh, say that instead. I didn't understand everything. Thing. So, uh, looking back here, okay, um, yeah, je ne comprenais pas tu. So, let's just put it into bright lights, I suppose. So, je ne comprenais, from comprendre, okay, notice, all right, AIS at the end there, so it's imperfect. I didn't, okay, I used to not understand it, if you like. So, here we are. So, je. Okay, ne, let's get rid of that. Okay, from comprendre. Uh, okay, we'll get there in a minute. Okay, ba, okay, let's just uh, emphasize a negation, the negative aspect of it. Je ne, comprenais, je ne comprenais pas. Okay, and then everything, ladies and gents, is tu, like that. Okay, tu, meaning everything. Right, the fourth one. Um, I've been watching it since the start. So, again, this this thing where it, use of Dupuis, etc. Okay, we're going to use the present tense. So, talking about uh, referring. So, referring to a program again. So, let's just get if it allows me. No, it won't. It's just going to have to do it this way. Je la regarde. I watch it. Yeah, for I've been watching it because we've got Dupuis going in there since. Okay, let's get rid of that, that, and then that there. So, je la regarde. Okay, depuis. So, since. 
the debut, the, the start, okay? We got that word in English, someone starting out new with something, like a, a football debut, for example. So, depuis uh, leur début, since the start, since the debut, the commencement. Okay, right. À mon avis, in my opinion. So, à mon avis. So, we got that there. Now, the actors, les acteurs. Okay, so it should be like that, except it's only one R. So you've got, uh, yeah, les acteurs uh, sont, les acteurs sont, and then excellent should have an S on the end because it's uh, plural. Okay, especially Teddy Teller. Yeah, we all heard of her, Teddy. Okay, and surtout means especially. Lovely word, surtout Teddy Teller, yeah. Okay, let's just put that, surtout meaning especially, or above all. Right, now, it is, say, all right, and then a great series. It would be, if it actually allowed me to sort of highlight and then replace, une série gen géniale. Okay, let's just get rid of that for a minute and let's uh, kind of fiddle around with this. So you've got série, all right, and then you've got génial. So génial, ladies and gents, Une série géniale, okay, meaning a uh, great series, people. Right, okay, that's number four, people. Moving on to number five, okay, so here we go. Okay, uh, look at number five here. So I also believe that, so je, now uh, quoi, que means I believe that. So let's just get rid of that first of all. Okay, and also je crois aussi. I suppose we could have started off with aussi je crois que as well um, as an alternative if we wanted to, ladies and gents. So, le scénario, okay, be really careful because uh, there is an accent over the E over here, so it's, it's okay. Now, doesn't have any relationship to reality, okay, so have a look at, uh, now, doesn't have any, let's just put it up here, doesn't have any, so na hasn't any or qu'un. Okay, so now uh, relationship like rapport. Okay, uh, let's separate that there. Okay, and then to reality, a reality. Sorry, avec la reality. I do apologize. Okay, so that's what we need to put in there. So for this bit here, oh yes, it allows me to do it for once. Okay, so na aucun uh, doesn't have any. Okay, rapport relationship. Uh, again, as I said before, uh, similar to the English word or have, uh, to have a rapport with something. With the reality, literally. Avec la réalité. So fill around with the accents here, people. And there we have it like so. Donc, therefore, c'est nul. It's rubbish. C'est nul. Let's put an exclamation mark. Yeah? Just feel like it. So, je crois aussi que le scénario, scénario n'a aucun rapport avec la réalité, donc c'est nul. I also believe that scenario doesn't have any relationship to reality, therefore it's rubbish. Right, before is avant. Look at that, it's a lovely word. So, avant. Now, I watched a lot on the BBC. So, I watched a lot on the BBC. Now, okay. Something that you did on a, on a continuous basis, you're going to use the imperfect tense. So, je regardais, comme ça. So, you've got je regardais, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, just making sure that uh, I'm fulfilling everything there. So, je regardais, let's put that in. Je, okay, regardais, mesdames, messieurs. Now, a lot, beaucoup, okay. And we can just sort of literally get rid of this and just say beaucoup. BBC. Um, I didn't watch a lot of BBC. Right, but now, me, uh, maintenant, ladies and gents, maintenant, things have changed. Right, now, I tend to watch, so we got I tend, okay, which is a very similar word in French, ladies and gentlemen, okay, uh, is literally, I have tendency. So, j'ai tendance. Make sure that it is on, so I don't want to teach you the wrong thing. Yeah. So, j'ai tendance à. So, I tend to, and then regard it, and it's 
dictionary um, infinitive form comes after that. So I, I have tendency. So we can adapt this down here, can't we? J'ai tendance à. Okay, and then after that, à, regarder's got to be in its dictionary infinitive form. Okay, so regarder. Now, web series, ladies and gentlemen, okay, um, is des web series. So we have to change a little bit here. So you've got day, and I'll change that in a minute. Okay, and then série. And I think in French, if I remember, recalling correctly, um, this in effect becomes like one word, like that there. So, des séries, so it's des web séries, uh, as, or because, car les thèmes, the themes, so I've changed the accent here, people. Okay, let's get that right. Son are original. Okay, uh, so that's what we have there, people. So there you have it. All right. So avant, je regardais beaucoup de BBC, mais maintenant, j'ai tendance à regarder. I tend to watch the web series. Uh, web series, car les thèmes sont originaux. All right, people. So remember. Now, con rapport avec la réalité doesn't have any relation to, uh, relationship to reality. Donc, therefore, remember the use of depuis and the fact that in uh, French it deals with uh, present tense going before it, whereas we tend to use the past or a past structure of sorts. Uh, surtout, meaning especially. Uh, didn't understand, je ne comprenais pas. In perfect tense. Hyper intéressant, meaning hugely interesting. Je ne le manque jamais. Uh, I never miss it. And uh, let's leave it as that.